San Joaquin County District Attorney Tori Salazar. Republican DA in San Joaquin County, Tori Salazar. San Joaquin District Attorney Tori Salazar talking about something called restorative justice. So we have to take these steps. It's not a light on crime or giving people an opportunity that maybe you didn't think were worthy of that opportunity. This is doing right. The Stockton Police Officers Association are concerned about what this is going to do to drive up crime. On a Facebook posting by the Stockton Police Officers Association, a Black Lives Matter protest attended by San Joaquin County District Attorney Tori Berber Salazar. Prosecutors have historically stood side by side with law enforcement agencies. Tori Berber Salazar is challenging police and more. It's a group of individuals that got together to do political consulting work. If they like you, you're never mentioned. If they don't, um, they mention you all the time. And it escalates to all the way from, you know, anger and frustration to conspiracy theories to death threats. They see a lot of politicians kowtowing to them because they don't want to get on their bad side. So you see elected officials who are afraid to lead because of one man sitting in another country behind a computer. Well, hello everybody from the Philippines. I've been here on an extended vacation. Uh, I agree with the Stockton Police Officers Association. They recently came out with a text message talking about how she is uh, reportedly uh, telling her assistant DAs that if um, they want to be tough on crime, that they don't belong in her office. Well, uh, the SPOA is saying, if that's how you feel, Tori, you need to resign. And I agree. If I had to respond to this all day, I would never do anything else. And so they're just knowingly false information to get his candidate elected, who is fully endorsed and funded by law enforcement. And I am a little bit in shock and awe that sworn officers pay and associate with an organization that knowingly puts out such false information. And that's really why I'm getting backlash, is I, I've charged you know nearly 25 officers. Um, and so that's where it really stems from, is the core is, and they say to me all the time, how dare you? Or why didn't you just let him retire or quit? I'm a Republican. My father was with Stockton Police Department for 30 plus years. I started when I was 21 years old, which is very young to start in this business because there's a lot um, that you see that's very traumatizing. You know, as a homicide prosecutor before I became a DA, I went to probably over a hundred crime scenes. Things that are unspeakable, we take home with us. The culture was that the more you got, the faster you rose in the office. And I fully engaged in that. I was primarily doing gang-related homicides, tends to be younger men. I had a case where he got 250 years to life. But I can't say putting a violent person in a violent cage and expecting them to come out healthy and well is a good plan. And it's not. We've proven that that doesn't work. So we're going to have to put some resources in, not because I'm light on crime, not because I'm pro-defendant or anything like that. I'm pro-community, I'm pro-victim, and I want my community safe. I'm a member of the Prosecutor Alliance. Even though we're kind of on different spectrums, they're compassionate and dedicated to protecting victims.
Prosecutors Alliance, they didn't sign up to be pro-criminal and to be anti-victim. They signed up to prosecute people who victimize citizens and make them victims. According to the Stockton Police Officers Association, the protest clip posted on their social media page happened in early June. Union President Chuck Harris says her appearance undermines her ability to do her job fairly. Years ago, the DA told me that she wanted to revamp our officer-involved shooting protocols uh, because she wants more transparency. That's why we have multi-agency investigations, so there are no secrets. But isn't it not true that officers, and precisely because of police unions, um, are not held accountable? I mean, is the system really working? I think the system is working because, like I said earlier, is just because an officer is forced to use deadly force, that doesn't mean that they were unjust in using that force. That doesn't mean they did anything wrong. I believe that based on the policies Tori has signed off on, that she is pro-criminal and anti-victim. I don't know of specific instances where she's actively worked with victims. These are predominantly mothers and some fathers that have lost their loved ones to murder. Some cases have been solved and prosecuted. Others are cold cases. I want to thank you all for being here today, even after everything you've been through and so much harm and hurt and, and pain. You still rise every day out of the love and respect for the person that you so loved and lost and come in and fight. I like it positive. My name is Rebecca Gapusin. My niece, Chastity Kogo, was murdered. What, 420 of 02, a family found her floating in the river. They were fishing. And then I also lost another niece, Callie Guerrero. It's been about four years for Callie. What I want people to know is that I am more than a mother of a murdered child. I am a mother with faith. I am a survivor, I am resilient, mm -hmm. and yes, it is hard. <laughs> I mean, if you guys would at least call us, you know, once in a great while, this is how we're doing and not the case, that would speak a whole lot. That's okay to call us out on that. I, I want, you know, they'll call me and say, hey, this didn't go well. This was, this person's not communicating. And we'll jump on that and get them training and we'll have long conversations about it. I mean, I don't, I don't blame the person that did it to my son. I blame the community. To be honest with you, because you know we're lacking in you know better resources for the kids, for the youth, you know. And resources. That... I would give anything if every county could have a district attorney like us, because we're so blessed. I don't know what we'd do without her. So I'm thinking for you, Tori. Um, no DA gets involved and sits down with the families and and what can I do to make your life easier? What can I do to make you better? Um, you know, everything we do, she's right there for us. I mean. No DA gives out their phone number to text them anytime you want and, and get a quick response. Oh, well, yes. I'm sorry I don't have a pen. But I had to do something. You don't think I was so nervous? I'm over here And that's why it's so important. It's like you guys going into the prison, having the courage to take that step in there, um, you know. And yeah, scary. Scary. Mm -hmm. I was telling, I was doing a Hail Mary in the parking lot, let me tell you. <laughs> I hope this, I don't know where this is going to go today, God. I'm putting it in your hands, but take me where I need to be. And, uh, but it changed us all. It changed us all. See, I'm on the other side of the fence, too, because I have a nephew that's incarcerated. He's been incarcerated for 16 years. When he was 18, he got in trouble. So when I went out to the prison, it was so sad to see all those young boys and you'd ask them, how, when are you getting out? We got life. I remember this one woman who was so passionate and tears were flowing down her face. I'm crying, everybody's crying. I'm crying just thinking about it. And 
you know, the gentleman reached over, and this is an inmate that's a lifer who's spent 25 years, and he reached over and touched her hand, and I thought, I don't know, you know, and she grabbed it and she said, God bless you. And I thought, this is why we're here. And when we went to leave, because these ladies are so powerful, they're already scheduling visits. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all, yeah, I've never says. had so much problem. Like the largest police union now endorsing a candidate His opponent has received a high profile endorsement. 209 times. 209 times. 209 times. A local blog with more than 100,000 followers. Part of the conspiracy to take progressives down. Whenever you do change, you're going to have pushback. No matter how mean and how cruel people get in social media and spreading false information, my family taught me to stand up for what's right.